everybody welcome back today's video is going to be talking about what is eczema and how a spider bite caused my leg to look like this hey everybody so like i said i want to talk about what is eczema today um, eczema is a skin, to, skin condition that can affect anybody at birth. About 31% of Americans have eczema right now as of 2017. I'm pretty sure after 2019 the statistics have been updated since then. But I want to talk about eczema today because it's a very, it's a skin condition that can be overlooked. Sometimes people can confuse it for something else and then they won't know until it's too late when they go to the dermatologist and realize that there's eczema. And sometimes people can also confuse it with other skin conditions like rosacea and etc. And I want people to just be aware of what eczema is and not confuse it with other skin conditions. And if you recognize eczema, it's imperative, it's important that you get it checked out and taken care of right away with your dermatologist. There's kind of many ways to explain what eczema is, but a lot of people just associate it with very dry skin. Okay, um, when my dermatologist was explaining it to me, it was just your your skin is like a brick wall, and there's no cement in between. We keep brick walls together. Okay, that's that's just I, when I heard the analogy, I was like, huh? And then it's like, okay, yeah, it makes sense now. And so because of that increased dryness, blisters can form. You get very dry, itchy. Hold on, very itchy. Okay, patchy spots on your skin. Okay, and then when you start scratching it, a lot of the um, old dead blood cells will surface to the skin and it kind of just stays stuck right there. So eczema looks different on people who are of lighter complexion than they do of darker complexion. So people who have darker complexion, some, some like similar like mine, we are going to experience a lot of scarring and it looks a lot nastier in my opinion on our complexion, okay? People can outgrow eczema. You could have it as a young baby, as a young child, got it treated, and you didn't have any of the symptoms for the rest of your life. And that's totally fine. It comes and it goes. I want to say, even though it's a skin defect, so in my mind, I'm thinking it's never going to go away, but it's some people outgrow it, so that's great for them. But for the people who don't outgrow it, it sucks. You're probably on maintenance creams, maintenance ointments, for the rest of your life. And then there's people like me who had it, it went away, I thought I didn't have it anymore, but then it came back with a vengeance. Okay, like big vengeance. Eczema is triggered, okay? So an allergen, so maybe you're allergic to nuts, maybe you're allergic to a bite, an insect bite, maybe you're wearing a lot of tight clothing around your legs or arms or knees and it's you're constantly causing friction with your skin, with certain clothes that you're wearing. So that can also trigger your eczema to flare up as well. And that's why a lot of dermatologists, a lot of people recommend that you take shorter showers, you take cooler showers, you don't wear such tight clothes, things of that nature to kind of help not have the eczema. I'm gonna give a, like, a story about how I've been dealing with eczema. So like I said, I've had eczema when I was a little girl. My mother was very good at taking me to the dermatologist weekly, monthly, however often she had to take me. I remember being at the dermatologist's office a lot. I, I remember the doctor's name. I remember being in that office a lot. That's all I can tell you right now. But I remember being in the dermatologist's office a lot for a lot of different skin conditions. And my mother was really good at upkeeping with the treatments and making sure that my skin was taken care of. And I appreciate her for that. Um, so moving forward, Went through high school, had no symptoms at all. Went through college. I left New York, I went to Pennsylvania for college, and I had no symptoms. And the thing I want you guys to keep in mind, in New York and in Pennsylvania, the winters are very harsh, okay? So I would have suspect my skin to really break out during these times, but I've never had any eczema breakout since I was a little girl. Maybe since I was like, eight ten years old I didn't have anything so you know I'm going through college totally fine good and gravy and I started moving down to the warmer states I was in I was in North Carolina for a little bit and then I eventually moved to Florida when I moved to Florida okay I got a spider bite on my left leg okay I don't know where's gonna pop up at 
So, just like any old insect bite that you get, you think it's just gonna go away. It's gonna scratch a little bit, you know, it gets red or whatever the case may be. It just goes away, okay? That's just how when it comes to mosquito bites, any type of insect bite, we just know that it's gonna go away, just leave it alone. And I thought that's what it was gonna be. I want to say I got this bug bite late 2016, early 2017, because I've had this thing on my leg for over a year now. So I scratched it, it you know, the inflammation went down a bit, and then I just ignored my leg. Like my leg didn't really give me any of the symptoms for a while, so I just ignored it. And then fast forward into 20, yeah, to 2018, my leg began, my leg started to become really itchy. Like I was scratching my leg like a dog with fleas, okay? I wouldn't stop scratching until I was bleeding or until it was, it just hurt to scratch. Like that's how bad I was scratching my leg. And so this whole time I'm just thinking, okay, you know, the spider bite got worse or the spider bite got infected. Something with the spider bite. I was not thinking anything about my eczema. I'm just thinking like, there's still venom in my skin and I need to get it out. Like I didn't know what it was that was causing this severe itching. It, the itching got worse and worse over the months to the point where like clear pus, not white pus, but like clear liquid will come from, come from my skin because that's how bad I was itching it. So I went to a dermatologist out here where I live in Ocala, Florida, and I'm sorry, but that dermatologist did not help me. Not gonna say the name, not gonna say where, where the name of the office is. But that dermatologist kind of looked at my leg and was just like, it's gonna go away on its own. That's the same thing I thought too. But clearly it hasn't. So I'm gonna need you to be a little more serious about it. Anyway, she gave me Eucresta for underneath my eyes. I said, you know, I think I have eczema underneath my eyes. Because when I cry, the skin underneath my eye burns. Like any liquid that touched underneath my eye, it burns. Side note. Anyways, moving forward. So eventually, I, it got worse. It keep getting worse. And I went to the ER room, and the ER doctor was just like, I can't help you. I think the collagen is infected. I think you need to go to the um, dermatologist and get laser treatment. I was like, okay, well, fine. Give me a dermatologist that's better than the one that I went to. They did. But then when I called that dermatologist, they never returned back my call for an appointment. I'm over it. I'm over the doctors in Ocala, Florida. I'm just over it. Moving forward. So I always drive an hour and a half. It's really an hour if you like, you know, go 90, 100 on the highway. But it's really an hour, an hour and a half drive to Orlando to go to the doctors out there. So I went to a dermatologist, um, the dermatology is called Reflection Dermatology. And I was immensely grateful for their informative visit. Prior to me going to the visit though, my boyfriend technically diagnosed me. He was like, Amanda, you know what I think it is? I just think your dermatitis is affected. I'm looking at him like, what are you talking about? So pretty much when the spider bit me, if anybody knows how spider works, when they bite into their prey, they liquefy their prey so that they don't move and that they can eat them. And so I guess the spider was trying to liquefy my body, but it ended liquefying or infecting my collagen in my leg, which triggered my eczema to, the eczema to flare up. So it made a lot of sense because I started noticing other dark, itchy patches starting to come up on my second leg. I'm thinking it's the venom in the other leg going, you know, spread to my other leg, but no. And another thing is too that I, I kind of figured that this was true was that my boyfriend wasn't getting the same symptom as me. If this was venom in my leg and me and my boyfriend sleep in the same bed every night, crisscrossing our legs together, I would have gave him something by now. <laughs> I messed up my ass out. I would have gave him something by now. So anyways, I started seeing more dry, itchy, patchy spots on the back of my lower back. And my lower back area above my butt, and then on my second leg on my calves as well. So, went to Reflex in Dermatology. They explained the same thing my boyfriend explained to me. My boyfriend is not a doctor, but he's a smart, he's a smart man, but he's not a doctor. But they pretty much explained the same thing that he did, and they were very, very, very helpful. They prescribed me Bright Holly Lotion to help with the inflammation. 
and then they uh, prescribed me your crystal ointment. The same ointment that I've gotten before from the other dermatologist, but this is obviously for my dry itchy spots, my eczema flare-ups. And now it's a maintenance medication for me. And I'm the type of person where I don't take pills, I don't take medication, I don't do any of those kind of things, and now I need a maintenance medication. <sighs> Breathe. But it's fine. I just wanted to go away. I wanted to be able to flaunt my legs, okay? I wanted to be hairless and flaunted and look beautiful and sexy at the beach instead of having these big brown dark spots on my leg like I have a disease. I kind of do. <laughs> but so I'm really grateful. They gave me those two medications and they were really helpful on giving me other skincare advice as well, other skincare products and tips that I should do. Express to them, I, I guess because I have sensitive skin. I have eczema and sensitive skin. So because I have sensitive skin, a lot of the daytime moisturizers with the SPF in them burns my face. Don't like it. Some of the sunscreen that I could use that's not gonna cause the same kind of irritation. And they had recommended one of their own. And I'm currently trying it out. So I'm currently trying out their eye cream as well. And I'm trying out their SPF sunscreen. And I'm trying out a gentle cleanser from them that's supposed to help even my skin tone. So at the end of, not the end of the month, but after 30 days of me using the medication and using their products, I'm going to do a follow-up review. I do have to see the dermatologist in about three weeks, so they're probably going to give me more information when I go see them follow up, and I'll make a follow-up video pertaining to that doctor visit. But I want you guys to be on the journey with me as I try to heal my eczema flare-ups. I know there's a lot of people out there that are probably going through the same thing I am, and it just either they don't know what it is or they do know, and they're just too scared to talk about it. I mean, come on, like everybody wants beautiful, healthy skin, and it's not easy to achieve it because the products are expensive. That's one, and then people are constantly trying out different. There's constantly new products, you know, and and it's so much money to keep trying out all these products. And then on top of that, you have sensitive skin. You technically can't use just about any products. You have to get products that are catered to your skin type because you don't want to irritate your skin any further. So it's very important to do your research and just visit your doctor regularly. Another thing that I didn't know about when I went to the dermatologist is they do an annual skin test. Did you guys know about that? Because I, honey, I ain't know about that. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I know there's a lot for y'all to do, but subscribing and liking and commenting can all be done in one spot right down below. And you know what I'm talking about. Okay, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications when I'm shooting out some new videos. So, the skin test, they test, they look everywhere. They look on your scalp, they, they even look in areas where sunlight don't even hit. They look everywhere pertaining to your skin to check for skin cancer. That's awesome. We're constantly in the sun every day, not using SPF to protect us from the sun's UV rays. So why not get a skin test? And it's only once a year. You don't have to do it like every six months or every three, four months. You don't gotta do that often. Once a year, you're good. So I suggest you guys go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get my skin test this doctor visit. I'll let you know how it goes. If you guys didn't do one, I'll let you know how mine went. So long story short, y'all, I was not happy. I'm not happy. I really thought that I was those people where I outgrew my eczema but this spider bite messed me up. And if you wonder what kind of spider bit me, I believe it was a brown recluse spider. This is where I live at called the Shores, there's a lot of different breeds of spiders that live out here. And the thing about it is I can't even step on them, okay? The times that I stepped on these spiders, they were pregnant, okay? So tiny little babies creeped out out of their bodies after I killed them. That's not cute. That's not cool. Uh-uh. Ran out of this house like a <laughs> <laughs> I will run out of this house quicker than you saying blow, okay? Don't play with me. Anyway, so I don't really, I have to sweep out, like I have to sweep out the spiders out of this house. Don't tell me about getting an exterminator. I got an exterminator, they can't exterminate the spiders. I gotta put peppermint around the house to get rid of the spiders, but that's not a key word there. I'm really, really, really upset to know that a, a, a simple insect bite caused my eczema to flare up the way that it did. And I'm even more upset at myself for waiting two years to take care of this because now it may take a very long time for this scar damage to go away. And trust and believe, I'm getting me some bleaching cream. I'm not bleaching my face. I'm bleaching 
the, the scars from this eczema flare up. That's all I'm bleaching, okay? I don't care what nobody says, I am bleaching the scar on my leg. It's not cute at all. So that's just that. And then, like I said, lastly, shout out to Reflection Dermatology. It was a great group of professionals. Um, they answered all of my questions. The nurse wrote out a regimen plan for me. I'm lazy. I'm happy she did that. I'm happy she wrote it clear as day. Where am I putting it? What time of the day I'm putting it? What I'm using? Because baby, I'll come home and be like, oh, I gotta do all this? Or am I just using these two products? And even when I had questions when I got home, they answered the phone really quickly, very professional, and answered my questions very quickly. So, shout out to Reflecting Dermatology. I will be coming back to you guys in a few weeks for a follow up. And lastly, guys, if you felt like this video was very helpful, please let me know or like the video to let me know. If there's other skincare topics you want me to talk about, let me know too. I'll do my research, I'll inform you, I'll even ask my doctor, you know, some great clinical tips that they can give me. But at the end of the day, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys on the next video.